Hi, I'm Linda Mihara, and in today's class, I'm going to show you a fantastic model that I created. It's Mr. Santa, and it's from one sheet of paper. Great if you use just regular red origami that has the white on the backside for the contrast. Let's get started. Uh, so go ahead and hopefully if you have a red and white sheet, great. Uh, whatever color, uh, we want to start uh, first off with the uh, backside facing up. So right now I have the color side on the bottom. So the, the uh, backside facing up, we're going to fold it into a triangle. Pull straight down, go to the right and left. That prevents the shift from happening. And then now you're going to take this and fold it in half again. Give it a nice crease. And now we're going to unfold the entire thing and turn it over to the color side. So my color side is the red side. And then you can see we've got, you know, the two diagonals. So what we want to do is choose two opposite diagonals. We're going to make the Santa's cuffs. So let's just take one, one point here and we're going to fold it, do two valley folds. So it's going to be just a little bit. If you've got a six inch sheet, it's probably going to be about an eighth of an inch fold. Okay. So fold it once and twice. So you have a little cuff like this. And then we're going to go to the other side of that line. So follow that line. You want to make sure that we get his, his other cuff in place. So again, you're going to fold the point up. And then you've got that, that, that center crease to kind of line up your, your, um, your fold. So fold it once, fold it twice. So now you've got a cuff. Here and here. Okay, so now that we've got our two, you can't really see it on my screen, but I've got my two cuffs. Go ahead and fold it in half so that you have your cuffs on either end like that. Let's see, I got cuff on one side, got a cuff on the other side. Okay, flatten it out. Now, we're going to take the top point here, fold it where the, line, the fold intersects this bottom edge here. So we're just gonna bring that point down, line it up, and then go ahead and crease. So now we, we should have, you know, you've got your cuff here, you've got your cuff here, and then you've got this triangle that we just folded down to the bottom. Now we're taking that same triangle. Now you have two layers of paper here. Take both layers and you're going to fold it up, but you're not going all the way to the top. You're only going to go just shy of the, um, the edge. So let me see if I can show you where I've got it marked. I'm folding it right about here, not all the way to the top. So just, you wanna leave a little space because that's where the beard stops here for Santa, okay? So, so you should have now a small triangle that comes up to here, not all the way to the top. Now we're going to take, peel off one layer here and we're gonna open it up. Let's rotate the model this way. So now you should have it oriented so that you, the triangle the main part of the triangle is, is facing like this. And so you have this, this point facing up. You'd split these. So before it was, it was here, and then you're just peeling off the top layer so that now we have this. So now we've got this edge here. We're going to fold. You want to grab, grab the folded edge and fold it down, giving him his mustache. So if you've got a, if you're folding from a six inch, this is again about maybe an eighth of an inch down. So make sure you grab that folded edge and just fold the whole thing down. So it should look like this. And you know, there is a line, a fold. Up here, right? And here's the edge, the edge of his mustache right here. Okay. 
Uh, so now we're going to take this and refold it down, just refold it down on you on that fold that was there. So it should meet down here. And then you're going to fold it back. We're going to pleat it and you want to use your center line as kind of a make sure your point is writing along that you want to give a little bit of a gap between his mustache and this is going to be his eyebrows. Okay, so there's a little gap there. Um, if you've got a six inch paper, it's probably going to be about a 16th of an inch maybe. So just enough for a little bit of a gap in between like that, okay? And now we're gonna lift this whole flap up and this point here wraps around to the back. So you'll see that you've got that little bit of a gap um, and then you're just gonna take the paper and just roll, fold it over that edge that you see here. So it should look like this. So I'll repeat that. You've got this, you've completed your pleat for the eyebrows. You lift up this whole pat, uh, flap, take this point and you're just gonna fold it behind, wrapping around that edge there on the top of your eyebrow. Okay, give that a nice crease. So we got his beard, his mustache and his eyebrows or his eyes and eyebrows, pretty cool. So now we're going to take, if you look, you've got, you know, your center line here. You've got his arms on either side. Let me close this screen, great. Now what we're going to do is do a valley fold. Here's your center, your center line. We're gonna do a valley fold, this edge, going out to his cuff. Let me see if I could get it in the camera. Oh, let me raise it up. So this edge is going to pivot on this point and we're going to make this edge meet the center. So we're basically going to fold this over so that it meets the center line. Okay. And do the same for the other arm. Take that, you're pivoting here. This top edge comes to the center. So we're gonna go down like that. Now, if your cuffs aren't even, like mine aren't exactly even, that's fine. It's on either, either side of Santa, it's okay. <laughs> okay. Now, I want you to unfold one arm here. So we're gonna create a rabbit ear on this arm. A rabbit ear is a three part um, fold. I think we did this on one of the other models that I taught. And basically you're bisecting each of these corners here on this arm. What that means is we're making a fold right down the middle from the corner here, right down the middle from the corner here, halfway point, and the same goes for here. Super, super easy. So what we're gonna do first is take this top part here, the cuff is here, and this is gonna fold using this pivot point and you're going to fold it up to this line here, this fold that you just created on this last step. You're taking this and folding it right from that middle point all along the edge of that triangle. So give that a fold all the way across, all the way down, excuse me, and then unfold. Okay, now we're going to do the same thing for this corner here. So this edge is going to come up to meet this edge here. all the way along that, and then go ahead and fold that. So that's two. So now you should have a fold here, a fold here. Now we have to do one for here. Super easy. We're just gonna take the paper and you could either bring the top edge to meet the bottom or bring the bottom edge up to the top, it's fine. I'm gonna take the top edge and meet the bottom edge like this. So just roll it over and fold it until it stops where these folds intersect. So you see my fold goes from here and it ends right here. One thing you could do is fold it and collapse it at the same time. So what that means is you're taking 
these edges and just bringing them together. You're not bringing necessarily bringing it down this way or bringing it up that way. Let's just kind of fold in the air, so to speak. So you bring the edges together like this and then just kind of walk the paper in as you collapse these folds into place. Do you see how that works? It should go right into place. So you fold it till it stops. That's your rabbit ear. And then go ahead and put the arm forward like that. That's a rabbit ear. Pretty cool. Now we're going to do the same thing for the other side. So we're going to open that up. Let's do the first part of the rabbit ear, taking this top edge and bringing it to this edge here. So we're just going to go ahead and fold it right along. You want to make sure it ends at a point because we want Santa's hat to have a point. Okay, give that a good crease. Unfold that. Now we're taking this bottom edge and folding up to meet this side of the triangle. Starting at this point here. Give it a good strong crease. So now that we have that part two, now we're folding these this edge to this edge. So starting from the cuff, pinch it, fold it in half. Make sure you're lined up here. These two edges are lined up. Keep pinching till it stops. And as you push the paper forward, this will, the two previous folds should collapse like this and then push the arm up and fold. Rabbit ear. There's Santa, he's like stretching in his yoga class. Okay. So now, now that we have that, we're going to take each arm, let's take this one, and we're just going to fold it in, take the other one, fold it in, tuck his arm in there, okay. We're putting Santa through the workout here, we're stretching him out. Okay, so now you want to turn him over, so let's flip him over to the other side. And then now we're going to Use this as a pivot point. This edge and this edge come to meet the center line. Here's my center line. You should have a pre-crease there. So take all the layers and fold it. And try to make it a point up on the top. And the same for the other side. So this top edge comes to meet the center line, creating a point at the top. Now you got a lot of layers of paper here. So um, just make sure that you give it a nice flat crease. If you want to use a pen or a bone folder, go ahead and do that. Great time to do it. Makes it nice and flat like that. Okay, now turn him over. There's Santa. Let's get his, head, uh, his arms out. So if you reach inside, you see the cuff? We're going to do a valley fold. If, if you pull the arm out, we're gonna go, you can kind of see where the, the eyebrows end here. I wanna make a, an angle fold that comes out and it's gonna look like I'm gonna start my angle fold somewhere down here. So if you look at your, if you open up the side layers here, here's your arm. You see these points here? So this fold for this, his arm should start right around there. I kind of, it makes it, it gives it a nice angle fold. So the fold is actually gonna be like from here up to here. When you fold it, it should look like this. So when you close him up, see his arm is coming, hanging up or pointing up. It's pretty cool. So go ahead and fold that. So again, you're taking the arm and we're doing a valley fold, an angled valley fold out that starts here, which is along the lines of where these two points are. 
and comes up at an angle that's about halfway between the two, these two points here. And then close it up and there's one arm. So now for the other arm, let's open them up here. Take the arm, valley fold it out at an angle starting from this line here. Well, you've got the other arm on the other side, so you can just kind of match that. And then close it up. Looking good. So now here at the bottom, you've got two flaps. What we want to do is create a, an inside reverse fold that's flat along the bottom so he stands. So what I want to do is kind of, you want to take his, take one side and you want to do an angled valley fold out so that this here is parallel to this so that it's flat. So when he stands, he's flat. Does that make sense? So the fold is actually almost all the way here. And then you see how this is parallel to this here making a flat angle or a flat part that he can stand on. So give that a good strong crease and unfold it. And then we're going to inside reverse fold that. So you're going to open the layers from the outside. And you're going to push this in. Now, if you look at your, your fold, the back part is a mountain fold but this is a valley fold. So it's a matter of reversing the direction of this angle fold into a, a mountain fold. So you just, if you reverse that like this, now you can push this in and it'll go exactly where you had it, had the pre-crease. So let's give scent to the other foot. So go ahead and make another outside angle fold and keep in mind this part here, you want it to be flat, parallel to this part of the model, and which should make it a flat, like, like you had on the other side, like this. Give it a good strong crease, unfold it. From the outside, you reach in here, reverse the direction of this top fold by creating a mountain fold. So we're just going to create a mountain fold. Push this point in or his foot in and flatten. And now you've got two feet and he should stand. You might have to open and we're actually done with the folding. You might have to open the feet a little bit so that he comes, he should, oh, you might have to do a little adjustment. Well, my, he, he's standing, yay. So if you look at his face, so remember I was saying eyebrows and mustache. So what I do is to create the eyebrows. So here's, here's our top flap, that's the eyebrow. I take my fingernail and stick it underneath here. And if you hold the middle down like I'm doing here, so I'm holding the middle down, take your fingernail and you just push up this will make a little eyebrow. Do you see that? So try that just, just a little bit. And then do the other side. So remember, hold the middle down, take your fingernail or a pen and just reach in underneath and let's see. So I'm, I'm right-handed, so it makes it difficult for me to do it that way. So I'm gonna do it with my right hand and push up and you've got two eyebrows, yay. Then if you want, you can reach underneath where, where his mustache is, right down the middle. You just kind of make, if you can, and what I do is I kind of pinch him so that if you pinch him together, you can actually raise this part and pinch it, creating a little nose. If you can, like that. And then the beard, I like to kind of take the tip of the beard and just kind of give it a little curl. So you have a little curl on the beard. And there's Mr. Happy Santa. Thank you for joining me for my Santa class. Hope you had a good time and happy folding.